What's up? What's up? Buddy here with the Santa Barbara music scene. How's everybody's Sunday going? You know, can't leave the house and, you know, uh, can't do anything, can't go outside, can't play with the dogs anymore. And, you know, uh, well, welcome to my world. And, uh, hey, but we got a special guest for you today, Alex Cradifil. Oh, my God. Hey, what's up, dude? How you doing? I'm good, buddy. How you doing? I'm okay. My mom came over yesterday and made us a bunch of food and brought us some TP. And now we don't have to do the, you know, the whole poop shower thing anymore. At least for like, you know, another roll. And uh, hey, but uh, uh, <laughs> my, uh, this wiener that I know at the Crowded Coffin, he says like you're the coolest librarian around. You got your Dewey Decimal card and everything. And hey, we were wondering, do you think maybe you would be down to read us a chapter out of a cool store, a, a cool book, you know, please? Yeah, of course. No problem, man. Yeah. Hey, thanks again, man. Hey, how's everything going on in your world? It's going good, dude. I mean, uh, just hanging out here in L.A. trying to trying to not catch the virus. Yeah, know? don't catch it. Or, I mean, you don't want to catch it because, it's you know, it's trying to catch you, so you just got to keep running. Exactly. Yeah, man. Well, <laughs> heck yeah. Well, uh, you know, I'll let you take it away. You guys are in for a treat. Uh, so this is uh, from the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. I uh, figured it'd be good to read a nice chill book for... Uh, for the goings on in the world right now. Uh, so here we go. Here's what the Encyclopedia Galactica has to say about alcohol. It says that alcohol is a colorless, volatile liquid formed by the fermentation of sugars and also notes its intoxicating effect on certain carbon-based life forms. The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy also mentions alcohol. It says that the best drink in existence is the Pangalactic Gargle Blaster. It says that the effect of drinking a pangalactic gargle blaster is like having your brain smashed out by a slice of lemon wrapped around a large gold brick. The guide also tells you on which planets the best pangalactic gargle blasters are mixed, how much you can expect to pay for one, and what voluntary organizations exist to help you rehabilitate afterwards. The guide even tells you how to mix one yourself. Take the juice from one bottle of the Old Jack Spirit, it says. Pour into it one measure of water from the seas of Sant Santraginus V. Oh, that Santragian seawater, it says. Oh, those Santraginian fish. Allow three cubes of Arcturian megagen to melt into the mixture. It must be properly iced or the benzene is lost. Allow four liters of Phalian marsh gas to bubble through it in memory of all those happy hikers who have died of pleasure in the marshes of Phalia. Over the back of a silver spoon float a measure of Colactian hypermint extract, redolent of all the heady odors of the, uh, the, uh, the dark Colactian zones, subtle, sweet, and mystic. Drop in the tooth of an Algolian suntiger. Watch it dissolve, spreading the fires of the Algonian suns deep in the heart of the drink. Sprinkle zamphor, add an olive, drink, but very carefully. The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy sells rather better than the Encyclopedia Galactica. Six pints of bitter, said Ford Prefect to the barman of the horse and groom, and quick please, the world's about to end. The barman of the horse and groom didn't deserve this sort of treatment. He was a dignified old man. He pushed his glass, glasses up on his nose and blinked at Ford Prefect. Ford ignored him and stared out the window, so the barman looked instead at Arthur, who shrugged helplessly and said nothing. So the barman said, oh, yes, sir, nice weather for it, and started pulling pints. He tried again, going to watch the match this afternoon, then? Ford glanced around at him. No, no point, he said, and looked back out the window. Uh, what's that, foregone conclusion, then, you reckon, sir, said the barman, arsenal without a chance? No, no, said Ford, it's just that the world's about to end. Oh, yes, sir, so you said, said the barman, looking over his glasses this time at Arthur. Lucky escape for Arsenal if it did. Ford looked back at him, genuinely surprised. No, not really, he said, and frowned. The barman breathed in heavy. There you are, sir, six pints, he said. Arthur smiled at him wanely and shrugged again. He turned and smiled wanely at the rest of the pub, just in case any of them had heard what was going on. None of them had, and none of them could understand what he was smiling at them for. The man sitting next to Ford at the bar looked at the two men, looked at the six pints, did a swift burst of mental arithmetic, arrived at an answer he liked, and grinned a stupid, hopeful grin at them. Get off, said Ford, they're ours, giving him a look that would have made an Algolian Suntiger get on with what it was doing. Ford slapped a five-pound note on the bar. He said, keep the change. What, from a fiver? Thank you, sir. You've got ten minutes left to spend it. 
The barman decided simply to walk away for a bit. Uh, Ford, said Arthur, would you please tell me what the hell is going on? Drink up, said Ford, you've got three pints to get through. Three pints, said Arthur, at lunchtime. The man next to Ford grinned and nodded happily. Ford ignored him. He said, time is an illusion, lunchtime doubly so. Very deep, said Arthur. You should send that into the Reader's Digest. They've got a page for people like you. Drink up. Why three pints all of a sudden? Muscle relaxant. You'll need it. Muscle relaxant? Muscle relaxant. Arthur stared into his beer. Did I do something wrong today, he said, or has the world always been like this and I've been too wrapped up in myself to notice? All right, said Ford. I'll try to explain. How long have we known each other? How long, said Arthur, or five years, maybe six, he said. Most of it seemed to make some kind of sense at the time. All right, said Ford. How would you react if I said that I'm not from Guildford after all, but from a small planet somewhere in the vicinity of Betelgeuse? Arthur shrugged in a so-so sort of way. I don't know, he said, taking a pull of beer. Why do you think it's the sort of thing you're likely to say? Uh, Ford gave up. It really wasn't worth bothering at the moment. What with the world being about to end? He just said, drink up. He said, perfectly factually, the world's about to end. Arthur gave the rest of the pub another wane smile. The rest of the pub frowned at him. A man waved at him to stop smiling at them and mind his own business. This must be Thursday, said Arthur to himself, sinking low over his beer. Never could get the hang of Thursdays. Whoa! Whoa! That was rad! Man, that's, that was so cool! Like, everybody's been trying to get me to read that book forever, and I just keep saying, yeah, I read it, just to stop asking me, but I never read it because I'm an idiot. But I'm totally going to read it now! Hey, that, that was so sweet! Hey, do you got any other books you want to, you know, uh, let us know about so we can read those too? Well, yeah, so, you know, I just uh, finished reading the uh, Welcome to Night Vale novel. It's just called Welcome to Night Vale. It's super fun, a little creepy, you know, a little funny, a little bit of uh, lots of things. So I highly recommend checking that out, too. Yeah, I love creepy things. And, you know, you got me sold there. And, hey, you got anything else going on? Like, you know, you got anything else you want to, you know, make a shout out to or promote? Yeah, sure. Well, hey, so a buddy of mine named Brad here in L.A., him and I do a podcast. Uh, we It's called The Purpose Driven Dude, hence why I'm dressed doodly today. Um, it's a cool podcast, man. It's about dudism, which is uh, probably the slowest growing religion in the world. It's based on the Coen Brothers film The Big Lebowski. So, you know, it's a religion for our day and age, you know, man. Something to help take the edge off, help help you maybe take her easy through uh, these trying times, you know. Heck yeah, man. That sounds super cool. Like, I'm down. I want to join. Like, you know, I know how to abide and all that stuff, you know? And so, hey, you know, everybody go check out that podcast. And we're going to definitely put the links down there, you know, so you can go, you know, you can get to it real quick and alex hey will you come and read another story for us sometime please 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 anytime buddy just let me know and i'll uh, i'll do another reading it'll be a good time heck yeah oh man that was so rad hey well hey everybody keep tuning you know keep tuning back into the channel because we got a lot more stuff on the way hey thanks again alex see ya